Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to show you how, to, how I made this lovely little Tic Tac container. It fits the, the little pack of Tic Tacs perfectly. Now I went with green and orange with this and yesterday for St. Patrick's Day, but well, it's not everybody's taste, sure it's not. So today I'm going to go with blues. So first you need a piece of card, two inches by eight and a quarter. And for this you need, well, if you have something else, use it, but I use this um, scallop edge punch, tag punch, it's great. So just pop it in, just make sure you've got it right up to the top. And chop, turn it round and do the same at the other side. Right up to the top and punch. And there you have the basics, so put this out of the way. So next, you need to get your scoreboard. Now I'm not going to bring out my brand new big one because I have this wee one that fits better under the camera at the minute. So line it up and score at one inch. Score at one and a quarter inches. Score at three and three quarters. And score at four and a quarter. And then turn it round and score again at the one inch and the one and a quarter. Now, there you have your basic shape. So you just need to fold and burnish all your edges, get them nice and crisp. Now these ones we want this one to fold this way and that one to fold that way. It's just to give the top a wee bit of support to hold the tic tacs in place. So that'll sit like that. And we want to do the same with this side. Just burnish them and then fold them to suit yourself. Okay, so it gives you that wee shape. Okay, so I do not know. We'll see. I have a That was good organization there. But look, just to show you, your Tic Tacs will fit perfectly in there. But first, we want to do a wee bit of stamping. So I have chose this little stamp out of the bubble over set. Uh, it's the for you, that wee one there. So I'm going to ink it up with Pool Party. It's more or less the same colour, just slightly darker than the card here. And that's what I'm going for, just to tone in behind it. So I'll just stamp that, make sure I've got this, I'm going to read this right. Yeah, so I have more ink. The blind leading the blind here. So you know that's going to be the front end, so you want to make sure you stamp in the right direction. And just do a few of these round about the place. Just to break that plain blue card up. You could emboss it if you had an embossing folder if you fancy doing that. Either way, just something to add a wee bit of texture or something to it. Squeeze another one in at the top. Now you would normally do it round the back as well, or I would anyway, so I'll not bother with it today, I'll bone you today. So we also want to do the thank you. For the front. And this time I'm going to use a circle punch. So if we get our, I have a piece of dark blue and I have a piece, great for using your scraps up as you can see. And I want to stamp thank you in the same colour so it's all matching in. But I want to stamp it in the centre where I can get my circle to fit. 
Okay. So get your smallest. I'm using the one and three eighths scallop circle punch. Just fade your stuff in. This makes it so much easier than trying to cut circles by hand or whatever. There you have that ready and all. Now I want to punch a circle to go on the outside. That's to give it a wee border. So I also have the one and a half inch circle punch and I'll just pop in the blue card. And this is a scrap as you can see. I've punched a daisy out of it before. So it's just a matter of laying it up inside your punch so that you get a perfect circle. And there, no card wasted, isn't it great? So, ooh, look, I got my dimensionals. I'm so happy. So I'll pop a few of these onto the back. Doesn't take many, just to give it a bit of support. Oh, isn't that so much quicker? Oh, from that one last week when I was trying to struggle with those ones out of the pound shop. Flip me, they drove me insane. So, just line this up in your circle. And the same game, we'll give it maybe three this time because it's going onto the, the main thing of the card. Oh, I think I'm still asleep this morning. Maybe it's the thought I haven't going to do housework. Ugh. So I'm going to line this up in the center. There you go. So now we'll add our sweeties inside there. And isn't it just a perfect wee fit? But to hold that together, I want something really, you know, that'll give it a good wee grip so it'll not keep sliding about till you give it to the person. And I find these are the best. So pop one of these on. Can you see this? Pop it on to just here underneath that wee. Keep your sweets in there. Line this all up. And then position it where you want it to be positioned. Now I like to try and line up the scallops at the top there to keep it all neat and tidy. Squeeze it together and there you have the perfect free gift box. Now I'll just add a bit of ribbon. I have a piece of white here. Just a tie with the white. You can, oh, got my things sticking through. Squeeze that through. Pull it through. Now there is a neater way to do the ribbon and I'll show you that on another video. So just get your scissors, hold your two loops together and give them a wee snip. And there you have it. A great wee tic-tac gift for your customers, for table displays, just for encouragement or thank you or whatever you fancy giving it for. Thanks for dropping by. See you later.